What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. We have got a Pokemon battle of epic proportions for you all here today. I'm going to attempt to answer an age-old question, which base set starter Pokemon is the most powerful? Today's tabletop video is going to feature base set Blastoise versus base set Venusaur, two of the most iconic Pokemon cards from 1999's base set, duking it out. Let's take a look at the cards. Blastoise and Venusaur are two of the most powerful evolved Pokemon from the early days of the Pokemon TCG, and odds are, if you were around in 1999, just the sight of these cards is enough to elicit a big dose of nostalgia. Blastoise is by far my favorite starter Pokemon, and this is the deck that I'm going to be piloting in today's video. Blastoise is an awesome Pokemon card. It has 100 hit points in the Rain Dance Pokemon power, which allows you to attach as many water energy from your hand to your water type Pokemon as you like during your turn, which is great for powering up Hydro Pump for three water energy. It does 40 damage plus 10 more damage for each extra water attached to Blastoise, and you can't do more than 60 damage with this attack, but 60 damage is a lot of damage for a card from base set. Blastoise pairs perfectly with Articuno, who has 70 hit points, a nice amount of HP for a basic Pokemon, no weakness, and two great attacks. Freeze Dry for three water energy does 30 damage and paralyzes the defending Pokemon on a coin flip. And then Blizzard for four water energy does base 50 damage and you get to flip a coin. If heads, it does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If tails, it does 10 damage to each of your own bench Pokemon. My buddy Will is going to be piloting Venusaur. Venusaur also has 100 hit points and an amazing Pokemon power, Energy Trans, which allows you to move your grass energy from any of your Pokemon to any other of your Pokemon as often as you like during your turn. Venusaur's attack, Solar Beam, does 60 damage for four grass energy. Now, Venusaur pairs incredibly with Pokemon Center from base set. Pokemon Center is a trainer card that allows you to remove all damage counters from all of your own Pokemon with damage counters on them. Then you have to discard all energy cards, attack attached to those Pokemon. But with Venusaur's Energy Trans Pokemon power, you can move the energy to a non-damaged Pokemon, then use Pokemon Center to fully heal all of your Pokemon, and then Energy Trans those energy back to the Pokemon you want to attack with. I'm excited to show off the games, but before we do, let's head over to FullGripGames.com. FullGripGames.com is your one-stop shop for all the best Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. We also just uploaded a massive amount of retro Pokemon cards to our inventory, so if you're looking for some old-school Pokemon cards, definitely make sure to scope out FullGripGames.com. We're also always buying bulk and singles and selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Filling out a buy list is really easy to do. You just fill out the buy list with the cards you want to sell us, you send us the cards, and we send you the cash, the store credit, or a new booster box, whichever you choose. I've even got a video here on the buy list page explaining just how to do it. Now, let's get into some gameplay. All right, best of luck, Will. Let's go. Lick it tongue starts. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's probably the second best starter. Yep. And I will draw for turn. Uh, probably just going to computer search away Blastoise and Switch. Yep. And just grab myself a Squirtle mm -hmm. out of the deck. And, you know, we'll get a Blastoise out eventually. Yeah, eventually. that's fine. Stage two decks, you know, they take some time to get set up. It's all part of the game. And. I'm sure next turn you'll have the. Breeder of Last Toys. I'll put a Water Energy onto Articuno and pass to you. Draw. Uh, Bill for two. Nice. Trying to get the Bulbasaur. I just cannot draw it. Um, Slow and steady. You're fine. Even Lickitung with Pokemon Center can be incredibly annoying. <laughs> catch. Bench another one. And uh, Tongue Wrap? Yep. Try again. Tails. Tails. 10 damage, though. And the 10 damage does actually really matter because, uh, you know, 10 plus 60 from your Venusaur, it's going to equal a knockout on all of my dudes. Perfect. Uh, I'm just going to pass it on over to you, Will, with uh, my War Turtle here on the bench. Cool. Yeah. 
It'd be awesome if this war turtle turned into a Blastoise next turn. Wow, really? Well, I did computer search away a Blastoise. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just uh, catch the other one and uh, tongue wrap again. Tails? That's nice. <laughs> but, oof! Blastoise, Rain Dance, uh -huh. Professor Oak. Wow. He's Perfect got like play. That. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I've got Bill mm -hmm. to draw two more cards, and plenty of energy now. I'll rain dance two more onto Articuno, and I am threatening a you know pretty serious two hit KO on these guys, which is nice. So I think that I will just last. We're gonna shuffle all of our trainers back into the deck. Yeah. Will loses a comp search, mm -hmm. item finder, and Pokemon Center, and I lose, you know, everything in my hand <laughs> except for an Articuno, but I do now have an Articuno ready to go and Blizzard. So I'm hoping that uh I can just Blizzard twice and knock out each of these Lickitung before Will can really draw too much and recover. But, I mean, honestly, that's not a bad last for Will mm. because he didn't have too much going on. And, you know, now if you top deck into an oak, you're Busted. like, cool. Yeah, yeah mm. totally fine. And you're getting to buy some time just attaching energy. And the cool thing about all of your energy attachments with this deck they all matter. That they all matter, right? Because yes. eventually you'll be able to move them around. So it doesn't even matter if you're just attaching energy to a Lickitung right now. The dude's got 90 hit points. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to go for Blizzard. Heads, 10 wow. damage to the benched one, and oh. 50 to the active. Always heads. Draw. Not not the oak. Uh, Bulbasaur. But that Bulbasaur, though. Uh, tongue wrap. Okay. Man, Tails I again. Yeah, never lucky. I just cannot hit a heads. <laughs> no, no chance. <laughs> um, I'm going to bench this Articuno. And Blizzard again for knockouts and heads. heads again. I know. Well, that's where all your heads are going. They are. It's yeah. straight to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, that grass now is stuck there. Yeah, it's real bad. Tongue wrap again. Going to look for a heads here. There we go. That's there big. Go. Finally. Yes. And we know that the, uh, you know, the Venusaur deck takes some time to get set up. Uh, which is the reason it plays so many of these Lickitung. Let's try and buy as much time as possible. Uh, I just have to pass it back to you. Cool. Yep, nothing going on over here. Um, item finder for Bill. Okay. <laughs> not the best, not the best. Uh, tongue wrap? Yep. Oh, come on. All right, 50 <laughs> damage, and I'll draw. This is fine. This is fine. Just going to attempt freeze dry at this point. Yep. And it's a tails. All right. At least Andrew got a tails. Yes. This is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Item finder for Bill again. Two Pokemon <laughs> Center for Bill. <laughs> bill off the bill. Okay. Ooh, busted. All, All right. right, we're cooking now. Let's go huh? lick a tongue oak. <laughs> okay. The deck does play four item finder, so like it's possible that you could still um get a uh you know Pokemon Center late in the game, even with a bunch of Pokemon Center in the discard pile. Man, no uh let's see, I have one two item finder gone and two Pokemon Center. Okay. No you get the breeder, but no Venusaur. Yeah. Um I will retrieve Discarding Oak. Yep. To get two energy. And uh, I will attach one of them to Scyther. Yeah, Scyther seems like a safe bet at this point. For sure. It always, always feels good to attach to. Yep. Um, and I will tongue wrap again. Heads. Yes. There we Yo, go. One, and one, with, one more. I know. Done. I know. And with 60 damage now. Yep. This That's, dude looks like he's going down. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I just have to pass. Let's go. And Will is definitely oh. in the driver's seat. Bulbasaur attached to the other Lickitung. 
tongue wrap. Okay, big Articuno <laughs> going down. I send up my backup Articuno. Plenty of energy though, so I am going to rain dance three, four energy sure. onto my Articuno. Go ahead and do that. And Blizzard and tail. So I have to do ten damage to my own Blastoise. We do take the knockout on that Liquid Tongue though. All right, you're you're so done. So oh yeah, Breeder. Woo! Venusaur. There he is. And three energy in play. Not the worst. Yeah. Um, I could just go and look at that again, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I would Soften treat. it up. It's pretty good. Um, I'm moving Andrew off Bulbasaur because there is a possibility of it getting knocked out. Right. Move it to the Scyther. Um, ooh, I could do that. I guess he could just play a Switch. Um, I was thinking about gusting your, your Blast Poison. Trying to tongue wrap it? Yeah, probably uh, best to save the gust for when you're taking a knockout. Yeah. Because this deck does plays a couple switch, as does that one. Uh, all tongue wrap? Yep. And a tails. Tails. That's fine. Draw. We definitely have a very tight match here. Five prizes to four. Uh, both of us got our stage two Pokemon established. Uh, let's see. Yeah, top deck. An item finder, but all of the cards in my hand are good. So I see that. I think I'm just uh, chilling for a minute. Um, the two hit KOs seem like too good to pass up, so I think I'm just going in with Blizzard and putting that pressure on. Heads, ten damage to all your bench Pokemon, and eventually that Bulbasaur could, uh, you know, I flip enough heads. That's true. That Bulbasaur could be going down. Fifty. Yeah. Yep. Draw. Um. Another Scyther. I'll switch into the Scyther, I guess. Okay. And Oak. All right. Trying to find an energy so I can take the knockout. Right, with Venusaur, that would be big. Uh, Do hit plenty of energy. I'm so. sure. I was going to say the deck plays like 13 energy uh, and a bunch of retrievals. So Very good. Yep. There's no, reason There's no real reason to bench, yeah. to overbench in... Uh, you know, in base set format, because you know that I can't disrupt the Pokemon from your hand. You can yeah. only disrupt trainers. Let's, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to retreat. Energy trans. All the grass to the Venusaur. Let's go. This is so sick. And Solar Beam for 60. Okay. That Articuno is going down with four energy Blastoise. Ugh. That's all I got. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll bill. And I have another Articuno, which is good, because I really don't want my Blastoise to have to be out there, you know, on the front line. We want, uh, we'd rather Articuno be up there, because Blastoise is kind of difficult to set up. Yup, just difficult to set up, <laughs> uh, which, uh, you know, means that I don't want to have to uh, lead with it, because if it gets knocked out, that would be very bad. Now... We are going to have to start, I think, getting some energy back. So I'm going to energy retrieval to yep. water. I have to discard something. I'll discard a breeder to get those back. And then we can rain dance those to the active. And then I have to just item finder away a breeder and a uh, super potion and draw through the deck with a Professor Oak. Yeah. So big draw into the deck. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, we did find an energy retrieval, which is good. Um, and I think that I can discard that Chansey. Get two more water energy back from the discard pile. And accelerate those both on Blastoise with Rain Dance, mm -hmm. and I do have a Super Energy removal, so I can play that. That's I do good. have to discard an energy from myself, though, but it's fine. Blastoise is still going to be swinging for 40 damage with Hydro Pump. I'll draw. I will play Breeder into another Venusaur. Oh, okay. Pretty busted. Um... I will energy trans to the Scyther with no damage and Pokemon Center. Okay. I really, I really do not want this means for to get knocked out, so. Uh, attached to the Lickitung. 
it's cool that you have two Venusaur set up now. Yeah. Uh, because uh, Venusaur's Poke Power cannot be used if it's asleep, confused, or paralyzed. Yeah. So uh, if you have just one Venusaur and I paralyze it, that energy is stuck there. Um, not, but now that you have a benched one, you're good to go. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to chill. I'll say go. Cool. Draw for turn. And now I am back where I was the turn previous. Uh, Hydro Pump for 50 seems better than Hydro Pump 40. So uh, I will Hydro Pump for 50 damage with Blastoise. Yep. And it's your go. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I wish I had the switch. Right. But, I mean, I guess I can get it. Uh, for switch. Yep. To the Scyther. And then, uh, I think I'll retreat into the Lickitung, honestly. I think that's good. Yeah. Um, Buy some time. Get some more energy in play. Attach. Yep. Uh, Tongue Wrath. Yep. It's a heads. Heads flip. And that means I cannot ring dance also while I am paralyzed in the uh, in the active position. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very not cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I do have a switch in my discard pile, which means that I can grab it with item finder. But if I do that, I mean, you could just see how how crunched these hands get, right? I have an item finder in my hand. I have a computer search in my hand. I only have a five card hand. You know, I can't, I just simply cannot play at all. Um, so even though cards like item finder and computer search are incredibly powerful, they come at a cost. And having to discard two other cards from your hand is definitely um, definitely a tough one. Now, I don't think that this Blastoise is necessarily going to get knocked out this next turn. Right, right, I think so. So uh, I think I'm good to just... Uh, you know, pass and potentially wait another turn. So we'll just do that. Uh huh. I have the chancy switch play. Just kidding, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe busted. Chancy switch. Oh my gosh. And double edge with chancy would be insane. Yep. I'll attach a grass to Scyther. Yep. And tongue wrap again. Okay. <sighs> I know. And the lick of tongue is just doing such a good job at buying time for you to get. You know, amass a huge amount of energy in play, which is like the whole idea of the deck. Now, yeah. this top deck is going to bail me out, so this is very good. I have Item Finder now, which I will play to grab Switch out of my discard pile. And with that, I can break the paralysis, which is very nice. I'll switch into Articuno. Yep. And now I can use my Rain Dance. Poke Power again. So I'll rain dance to the Articuno Super Potion. <sighs> discard this energy. Busted. And heal the Blastoise. Then Professor Oak to draw seven more cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That's a pretty good hand, but also like. Uh, I'm an energy short of really being able to do anything. I guess I could retreat, which feels really bad, and I just don't want to deck myself, and I have four prizes left to take. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I should probably be a little bit more methodical about this and not just oak again, because if I oak again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll have five cards left in deck, but uh, I don't really have a way to recover with like Fuji, like your deck does. Yeah. Uh, Last is the only card I have which can uh, put cards back into the deck. So I think it's better for me to just relax. Uh, I'll play down the Squirtle and just... I could retreat into this Blastoise and hit for 40, which is not bad. I think I'll just wait. I'll pass to you. Uh, I feel better doing that. Yeah, because if I put Peds on the Tongue Wrap and, you, and your boss is in the active, it's like kind of that horrible. feels horrible. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just chilling. I'm just gonna Tongue Wrap again. Yep. Tails, ten damage, and then ten damage just really matters on this Articuno, as I've uh, as I've said. <laughs> 
breeder into Blastoise again. So now we've got two Blastoise established, which is great. And my hand is just a little small for what I want to do. So I'll just wait one more turn past to you. Draw. Energy retrieval. For two grass. Yep. Um, I guess it's better here. It doesn't matter. I can, I can switch them. Uh, tongue wrap again. Yep. Heads. Nice. Yeah, that lick of tongue is really putting in work. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. This doesn't have 30 damage on it, does it? No, no it's, it's 20. just 20. All right, cool. Draw. And at this point, it's like the super energy removals barely matter. So I don't think that it's worth it for me to play them. I guess one of them should have gone here. So it plays around the super on yeah, both of them. It would play. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's it's fine. Um because I don't think that it really, really matters. Um, it does prevent you from retreating, which is which is good, but it also prevents me from attacking. Um, so I think let's eh, well, let's do it. We'll super discard this energy and pass back to you. There we go. There we go. Yep. Now, now it's super correct. super proof. Um, tongue wrap. Okay. Tails. Go to thirty. I'll draw. Okay. Now I think that I think I'm ready to finally start attempting to attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can item finder for a switch. And we will play that. There, the switch is right there. So, item finder for the switch, switch into Blastoise. And you can see how careful I have to be um, with these with these KOs uh, or with uh, my cards because it's very easy to see how Will's deck could outlast mine with all of the healing, Pokemon centers, all the energy moving, right? Um, very easy to see how Will could outlast me, especially with the card like Lickitung as well. Um, and I'm going to gust the Venusaur and take a Hydro Pump knockout for 50 damage. Okay. Go for a big play with Blastoise. Um, let's attach here, I guess. And, uh, Swords Dance. Going for the swords dance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Draw. And I'll just hydro pump for 50. Now, if you move to the bench, that sword stance is broken. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm definitely going to attack with it this turn. So. Oh, he's going in. That All makes right. sense because you'll still have three energy on board. So. You know, 60 damage for three energy is pretty good. And I like spreading the energy out yeah. so that uh, you don't get super, you know, mm -hmm. that that's really good. Okay, 60 damage onto my Blastoise. I'll draw. And, yeah, uh, I'll bench this Articuno and Hydro Pump for knockout. Just two prizes left. But this Blastoise does look like it is probably in KO range. So I just got free retreat. It does, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Draw. Our retrieval. Discard the oak. Two grass. Oh, uh, yeah. Attach one there. Uh, retreat to Venusaur. Move all four energy to the Venusaur. And, uh,. 60. That is awesome. Solar Beam for 60 damage. And I've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards left in my deck, so I cannot oak. I cannot. Nice. <laughs> or I Let's will go. lose. Will has just three prizes left. Resources are really, really uh, hard to come by at this <laughs> point in the match. I'll bill for two. Okay. And computer search away. Breeder and Oak, because I know I will not play those cards. Yeah. And 
How, How my energy you got left is the problem. Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. You only have access to like six cards. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. All right. Um, right. I'll grab this card with the computer search. Sure. And I have three cards left in my deck. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And three energy onto the Articuno. All right. And freeze dry. And you are not paralyzed. That's pretty big. Um, that now, is big. Now, I'm in no threat of the two-hit KO, because I actually do not think it's possible for him to ever hit 70 on the boss phase, right? Does it, no. It maxes out at 60, right? Maxes at 60, yep. Cool. Um, attach there. And yeah, I will just retrieval away this breeder for two more grass. Just in, just in case there's some sort of less. Um, and... Uh, there's no, re no reason to bench this, I don't think. Um, so I will uh, hit you for 60. Cool. Draw and... Oh, man. Um, okay. I guess I am going for the paralysis. Yeah, I think you have to. Again, yeah, freeze dry. Have to. Heads. Okay. So 60. This is good. Potentially put me at just one prize remaining if I'm able to take the knockout on it. Uh, but if Will goes and uses Pokemon Center, but he would discard all energy from his Venusaur. But at this point, Will knows I only have two cards left in my deck. So I'm going to switch. Okay. Oof, the switch. That's a heartbreaker. Um, so item I think, finder grabbing that switch out of the discard I think pile. it's just correct to attack with the Lickitung. Probably. It seems good. Yeah. I don't think there's any way I deck out. So I will I don't think so, especially with if there's a Fuji in your deck. Yeah. Yeah. Then probably no shot. I'll spread them like that. Eh, I'll spread Yeah, there's actually yeah. There's your, no, there's no way that's ever getting knocked out. Your Venusaur out. is like falling off camera. Yeah, oh it is? Yeah, yeah, break, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it back. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh tongue wrap for a ten. Okay. okay. Take the knockout. Two prizes left for Will. My resources are in a horrible, uh, horrible position. Uh, I'll promote Articuno. And I've got an item finder and an energy retrieval. I can I, uh, <laughs> get an energy retrieval and get two water back. It's not nearly enough to uh, attack. But I have to... Yeah, I could... Pass to you. All right. You know, this is about as far as I can go. Uh, attach to Lickitung, move one, uh, retreat. Oh, my gosh. Will's not even going to let me deck out in peace. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All four there. Yep. Uh, 60. And that Venusaur taking the knockouts. And Will knows with only two cards. <laughs> it's impossible. There is no way that I can take the win. GG's, Will. Yes, good games. GG's. Uh, that Mr. Fuji would have been incredible there at the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, this is a very good card uh, from Fossil. It was apparently, from what I've read, it was uh, kind of slept on back in the day. Like, nobody really played Mr. Fuji. Really? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I think Kyle Sukovich and uh, Jason Klazinski have kind of... Uh, have figured out that this is actually one of the best cards you can play to keep yourself from decking out in these early formats. Mr. Fuji just allows you to shuffle one of your bench Pokemon and all cards attached to it back into your deck. Uh, so you can put energy back into the deck that way. Uh, you can put uh, stage two Pokemon back into the deck that way. It also paired very well with the movie promo Mewtwo because you two could just energy absorb and then you could, you know, switch to the bench and throw it back into the deck to put all of your energy back into the deck yeah. uh, as well. It was really awesome to get to see these iconic cards from my childhood, Blastoise and Venusaur, have a chance to duke it out in today's tabletop gameplay. These decks were a ton of fun to play. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community over there, and we'd love you to be a part of it. You have a busted day. Peace.